Ever since the Mets drafted Kumar Rocker, there was and continues to be a lot of speculation about potential snags in the deal. We're not going to repeat the specifics of that speculation uh, because you're talking about potentially another person's health and impacting their career. And we haven't seen any MRI images or results of the physical. And the key point here is that the public hasn't either. There's a couple of different sides here, so I'm going to present some information. Uh, Scott Boris, who's Rocker's agent, is insistent that Rocker does not need any surgery. I can tell you that coming out of Vanderbilt University, which was, of course, where Rocker has been pitching, uh, they weren't protecting any injuries. Uh, there's no uh, hidden underlying physical concerns that people that have been working with Rocker have known about. So that's one side. But on the other hand, the Mets designed their entire draft around Rocker. They had a situation where they felt like they could pay above slot and get him at number 10. I'm not going to say they worked that out ahead of time, but that can happen sometimes. And they've now blown up their entire year's draft, essentially. They would think that's overstated, but really was. Their draft strategy centered around paying over slot for Kumar Rocker. Point being, there's no way that they wanted to do that. There's no way that the Mets wanted this to be the outcome. So we have two very different perspectives and a team that's hamstrung by HIPAA laws too, a privacy laws where they don't want to or aren't able to say exactly what their concerns are. So what we have is a disappointing scenario for all involved and one that I want to emphasize again. I as a reporter who's been digging on this for a few weeks and really pretty much anybody else, we don't have the full information to make a verdict on this news right now.